the playlists now I believe are like 98% owned by labels if not labels distributors it's a myth to get into one playlist because every single slot has been booked out by the labels or by the distributors etc etc just the way that the streaming platforms have evolved for independent artists that's yeah our sponsors for the perspective fireway pizza are offering you guys 20 percent off using our discount code ad20 use it today man save money be patterned we got you ad20 fireway pizza the perspective when did you first move into this new this new space here uh, we've had this spot here since august bro but we've been it's been open to the public i'd say from october september so what's as well like private clients will come in here or yeah yeah so we're, we're here now we've moved completely from the arcade we're here um permanently now and yeah we're all the clients just come here now bro yeah i want to talk about the project bro the tape so first off now uh, the obvious question is is it really done done yeah oh yeah collapse bro yeah hand on heart i'm done bro i was meant to be done a year back maybe two years ago but obviously as i've um i think i even said on your platform and um i spoke about it um in detail on um pound sterling's uh winners talking podcast where i took a mad l on crypto and i had that thing that riffraff with the with the police where my my day date went missing and all of that so it was yeah i lost a lot of money like in 21 22 so i had to um yeah i just i just gave it an extra year in it to make some bread back if i'm being honest i may sound a bit blonde here bro so did you ever get your watch back from the police no nah, still ongoing you know yeah, it's still ongoing. It's coming up to two years. In July, it'll be two years. It's still ongoing, still. What's the what's the, like, what's the process of that? Is that like you're explaining to them? Like, how does it how does it get resolved? Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I don't know. You know, Broski. Honestly, it's the first time this something like that's happened to man. So, I'm kind of new to it myself. Still, I'll be honest, fam. So, yeah, it's just just waiting for it to, to see how it ends, kind of thing. So, bro, with the music now, what's been the reaction from your fans? They love it still. The new tape, yeah, man, the fire exit out now. Big up all my day one fans as well. Mainly, I, I dropped that for them. That's how I, was, um, I wrote in three days, you know, and I got witnesses. I documented it as well. I wrote the whole thing in um, one of my brethren's car as I'm in the booth, just going, just going mad, fam, on the, in the studio, me and Maniac. But, um, I'm yeah, 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 yeah. I done it in his studio. Um, he, I, I, yeah, if it weren't for him, I don't think the tape would have come out in time because he mixed and mastered it quick, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I wasn't even going to put out a tape. But then it got to like December like 15th, 16th or something. I can't remember. It was late December, bro. And I was like, no, I need to put out something for my for my day ones that's been with me for the last 15 years. kind of selfish to just to just cut out. So I just put it together quickly and then boom. So the time when you were saying about like, it may be like, <clears throat> you're going to release like your last project. You had to record the music for that. Yeah? Nothing, bro. Nothing. I kept saying, yeah, I'm going to release my last tape. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I've been so busy with the shop that I never, ever once sat down and said, let me actually write a tune until I looked at the date, bro. And it, and I got an email from Ditto and it was saying, raw last project. No, 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 no. If you don't drop your last thing by December 20th, it had a list in it of dates in it. And um, I said, raw Rod, is this, is this the date already, fam? And I was like, I need to put this out or man's actually not going to put out nothing because it was December 19th, 18th, something, late December. And it was, I've promised myself there's no music 2024 forward in it. So if that tape didn't come out in 23, it would have never come out. So I thought, let me just, I might as well rush it, put something out, then nothing, can it? And obviously the supporters liked it. So yeah, I'm kind of happy I did it. I mean, I listen to it, bro. It's always quality from you. I just didn't realise that you would, you would rush it though, because I thought like, when you were saying that like, the whole, I'm leaving, I thought like, man's been, he's got, he's sitting on music that he's ready to, no, I to wish, drop. I wish, I wish, I wrapped that all up, um, literally after I'll show you like, the DMs with Sarah Joey, where last minute I'm saying to her, can you wrap this cover for me, yeah. booking last minute sessions with Maniac, um, phoning like, artists like TE, when I'm in the booth, literally I've got a, a 11 hour session, so I'm phoning artists saying, yo, can you come booth today? Bro's not even in the country, fam. Like, that's how last minute it is, like. So big up TE, because I know he would have come for, man, if he was local. But all the artists that did come, like Squeaks, RM laid a verse for me last minute. Obviously, Mills, Belzy, the man, them. <coughs> that was all last minute. So big up them, man, as well, because the pressure was real still. How do you feel now, like, you're, you're kind of, like, done with music, though? 
I feel like, what's the, what's the saying? Relief of your chest or whatever, you know that saying? Yeah, I feel like there's, I feel lighter, fam. Yeah. Like I'm relieved, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, 100%, bro. So I don't care. You see, one thing about people think like, I don't know, bro, bare music, musicians and artists, they do it for the love of the music. And if I'm being honest, bro, like, I don't know if I've fallen out of love, but this is not there, bro. So the last, I'd say even five, six years, I was simply doing it for the bread because it was the way, it, I'm a hustler, bro. So it's just what's paying me. So am I going to throw it away? But now, obviously, I'm getting older. Alhamdulillah, my piece is a little bit more stable. I don't need music no more to support me and my family. So then why am I doing it? It's, I felt like the last five, six years has been a chore. And as you know, if something feels like a chore, it's not fun. I enjoy doing this, taking links out of Rolexes and putting on new links, um, making custom pendants. And that one's cool, by the way. Yeah, yeah, this is a custom for um, my dog Boogie, rest in peace, um, H Boogie as well. This is a memorial pendant. But that's, this is what I enjoy doing, bro, like making custom rings. And I've been into jewellery since I was a kid. Before it was paying me, I will just go be window shopping at a jewellery shop. Do you know what I mean? For hours. So that's really and truly, I've always loved jewellery, innit? And that's, that's how I'm doing this now, innit? Kind of falling out of love with music. I think bare the man them are in that space where it's like, it's because they can't really get a nine to five job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, they have to kind of like do this because it's kind of like, it, it pays to an extent. Yeah, that's what it is, bro. Yeah. But things like, like, even though I'm not Muslim, but it's definitely a spiritual thing where people don't really feel yeah. at ease in doing this anymore. Don't with them, you know what I mean? When I look at your peers though, when you talk to them, do they feel the same? Like the music feels a bit, like they feel a bit jaded still being in music? Um, obviously the ones that are like my age, yeah, some men are like, you get me, I can see they're, they're getting to, to their end of the journey as well, but they're not there yet, innit? They've still got like a good five, six years in them, like talking to people like obviously Sneak Bow, but I can, I, he ain't told me this, but I can see he don't enjoy this as much as he used to. And that's as natural when you get older, innit? Wait, what, what actually started, when you said like five, six years ago, what actually, what clicked they thought, this is, I'm not on it no more. Um, I'm falling what, out of love with it. Is that what it, happened? Yeah, what it was, is just, um, I'll be honest, bro, it's like, obviously I've got a son, he's getting older. He's starting to know UK music, UK rap. Um, my health, another thing, bro. It's just, it's an age thing, innit, mainly. It's bare different reasons, but when I put them together, it's all like one thing, and it's based on my age, bro, and my religion as well, innit? <coughs> so, those are the factors, innit? <coughs> and like, when I'm writing bars, for example, I've got to blow a tweeds, um, like rap, roll a little spliff, smoke. So if I'm writing like 10 tunes, I'm blowing bare weed that day. Um, I might sip a little Maggie when I'm writing bars. I don't, I don't want to drink. I don't like drinking. But then when I'm writing, or if I'm going to a show, then I might have a little sip of a juice to get me in that. And it's just the haram lifestyle that comes with the music, bro. Like I'm, I'm at a show, there's bare gal just dancing, twerking, there's bare yak everywhere. There's man in the dance with ballys with some necks. And my music is encouraging this behavior. They're there and listening to man's music. And you feel me, bro? And it's like, it's just not, yeah, man. It's just, I don't, you get me? Yeah. It's one of them ones, You talk about, <clears throat> obviously, 57 jewelers, bro. Like you say you enjoy it, but it's like, I was speaking to the man before, bro. I was like, bro, the phone's popping, like, it's, it's, it's intense. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, how are you balancing now of, like, having to be so full on with this part of the business? Because you lot were travelling to what? Were you were in Shanghai? Where were you lot the other day? Uh, we've, the last done, year? we've done Hong Kong Hong for a watch fair. We've done Munich, Germany. We've done the UAE and um, India a while back. Me and Taz done that. And, yeah, we're, we're about, bro. And you enjoy this a lot more than music, as you're saying. Yeah, hundred percent. What's what's the pros and cons in the watch game now? Like, like now that you guys are like established now, like wh how are you finding it? Um, obviously, it's, it's it's a peaceful business, bro, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? There's no there's stress. Obviously, hundred percent with any business comes stress in it and hard work, but it's peaceful, bro, isn't it? Like in terms of like, it's not like the music industry, bro. Where man's going places and he's got to look over man's shoulder and what who's that who's that that's just as long as too old for that bro. I can't like I would have thought this is a bit more peak because it's like it's high end prices, you know. I thought like because I ain't been hunting before. I said bro when I came I'm wearing my Apple Watch like bro because it feels like it's just 
there's another level of intensity because like not everyone can afford what you're selling. Yeah, yeah. So how do you absolutely. deal with that part of the game though? Like people just thinking, right, like these men must have all this bread, all these peas. Do you know what? People have always looked at me like I've had peas and bread. I'll be honest, bro, because I've always been in, like in the public eye. So it's for me, it's the same thing. I get what you're saying. Like now, obviously, now you can physically see it, mm-hmm. but um. No, it's just um, just move on point sort of thing, bro. And obviously, we're in Hatton, it's a secure location. Um, We know how to move as well. So, yeah, it's one of them ones, bro. Bro, I wanted to ask you also, though, but like just now in store, like what's your favorite piece, though? What kind of things are you, are you looking, thinking, yeah, that that it's a cold piece? Uh, Right now, it's not in store at the minute, but it's we've got we've got it in stock. you know, I like the Patek actually, the 5711 1R custom set with 60 carats of baguettes. Love this watch still. But uh, better than this, I like the uh, the 126506 open back, new reference Daytona Platinum. Beautiful watch. We've got that in stock, yeah. I think. What's that retailer for you guys? Uh, How we, much are you selling it for? We, we would sell it for about. 86, 80, between 85 to 87, depends um, if there's like a crypto payment or a full bank transfer payment, it just depends on it. But um, yeah, it'll be around that sort of money. So bro, I didn't, I didn't actually catch the Winners Talk podcast, but you said that you lost a lot on crypto. Because I remember you used yeah. to do, I remember that, like, because obviously T, like he was telling yeah, me about yeah, the yeah, fan, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, what, what happened, like how much, what, what happened in that situation? Because I was So aware. there was a big yeah. uh, crypto crash when was it, 22? I can't remember, I'm getting old, bro. I think it was 22, like, June-ish or before that, like, around them times anyway, massive crash. Um, I had bread in Sheba. Sheba. Yeah, Sheba, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and where is I bought in at a high, not at a mad high, but where when the crash happened, it was like, bro, everything's just gone because I lost nearly everything I put in. And what was left... There was no point of me selling it because it's like... How much did you have in, if you could say? Like 200k, bro. What? Yeah. And then when I looked at it... What? UK pounds? UK pounds, bro. In just in Shiba? In Shiba Inu, I had like 100, and majority, like 170, 160, and then the rest was in like an ETH and Bitcoin, some small change. And then um, I, lo- I logged in one day. My balance is always like... Either 210, 200, 220, it's, like, it's always in the twos, isn't it? Maybe like high 190s, like 196 on a bad day. Broski, I signed in after like a month. I was so busy that month. I wasn't even on Twitter. I wasn't following nothing. Um, I, was, I was in the middle of moving homes. So I've logged on one day in the morning just to see. i got an app called CoinGecko and it lets me know what the prices are, in it. So I didn't even log on to my balance. I've logged on to CoinGecko, seen everything's down. Then I'm like, bro, let me check my balance, bro. I've looked at my balance, bro. Well, it was like 13, 14 quid in there. To the point where I was just like, I don't even want this. I, did, I just, you get it. I just left it there. And then after time went on and time went on, obviously I started doing jewellery. I needed that little change that was in there to buy and sell a few watches. So I just used it, bro. So I've sold all my crypto. I have Today I have no crypto. Like nothing in my crypto still. Everything's just like, it's in businesses and... Houses in stock, in this and that, you get it, bro. Yeah. Bro, I just still think, but I'm still kind of spun, bro. Like, I don't know how a man wakes up and he sees that like, 200 bag just not robbed, just gone, bro. Yeah, no, it hurts, bro, because man genuinely worked hard for that bread. That weren't no like, um, rob money, man didn't rob no one for that, man didn't do no madness for that. That was straight bars, bro. Like, man, that was man's bars, like from like 017, 018, probably. Cause remember, I'm independent, bro. So that 200 bags didn't come in a month. That was like, let's say I'm getting like, at them times, 017, 018, probably like five, six quid a month. Then obviously 019, it picked up. I started making like a bit more, like 12, 15, whatever. But it was a slow process. I remember in between those months, you're paying stuff for more videos, your studios, this, that. You're paying guys off. like So yeah, it, weren't, <coughs> it was hard earned money, bro. You feel me? It was hard earned money. How did your wife react to that point? She was stressed. She was pissed, bro. She was pissed that I told you, like, don't put all your peas in this. No, 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 no. Obviously, when all man, bro, it was a majority of my peas, bro. I'm not going to cap. Yeah, I'm not going to cap. It was a bit, at the time, bare of my peas, bro. But obviously, you live, you learn. And one thing about man, bro, I don't care what L I take, act like, well, lie, man's just always grateful. I've got my arms, my feet, 
my eyes, my ears, man, let's get back on the grind. I'm not them guys you can keep down, bro. Like, you feel me? So, yeah, it hurt, but then obviously, man, just bounce back in it. You, you can do cry all day, fam. You feel me, bro? So, bro, you said that you're in the process of moving. I'm thinking, bro, you just moved and then you just, that's, bro, I'm just trying to figure out because a lot of men, a lot of people, bro, they go through like, like pressurized situations, but they don't know how to handle it. So how were you? Was it your faith? Or like, what was it that made you? Do you know what? Alhamdulillah, bro, at the time, like I said, it was at kind of the end of my career. So I was at a good part of my career where my streams and everything, I'm making 10 bags a month anyway. So I knew, cool, let me just go. This is why I came back to music because I was meant to be done, bro, in 22. So I said, let me put up a quick tape. I think I've done the underdog. I've done a couple few singles, slapped them out, got back on my feet. Obviously, um, me, Torres and, and, and Michael started doing 57 Jewelers from last year as well, like April. And man just went ham with that. So that's been helping out as well. You get me, bro? But yeah, no, alhamdulillah, man's good now, isn't it? Man's back, in it? Yeah, man. The music, bro, like, you said that you're, you're happy to be, to, to be out of it. But like, what's... You said about like, kind of like the lifestyle, the energy, but what was... What were the, plus points if there was any but when you were in the industry because bro you, you're going down as a legend for most people so it couldn't have been all bad so what good points did you have within the music when no, it was no, fun? No no Defo wasn't all bad I enjoyed doing music bro for like for for majority of my career like I said just the like, last five years I would say the love went as there especially the last two years but um since 019 I'd say I started falling out of love properly in it but it was still there in it I enjoyed music it weren't you get me bro but I'd say like um, the good good part is like obviously it's a, it's a stepping stone for other things. So when I started Fifty Seven Jewelers, obviously people knew who I was. They trust me. They know me for a long time. So it it kind of helps in that sense where oh yo Ads has just started this thing. Let's go support Ads sort of thing because they know me from beforehand. I'm not gonna sell you something funny. So it's just one of them ones, isn't it? And that's that's what it helps for. It's like people kind of know me without knowing me. So it's one of them ones. That's the main thing that like, I feel like music helped me out. It's like, it's just, you get me, that, that stepping stone is key, bro. Where do you think the business is now? Because it seems like everything's kind of like in decline. Everyone's kind of like, it's not, it, people are making money, but it seems like it ain't like what it used to be. The music industry, it's saturated, bro. So it's a thing where um, playlists now, it's different, isn't it? Because it's so saturated, um, Correct me if I'm wrong, people. Someone can DM me and tell me if I'm wrong. But from up to my knowledge of music, bro, um, the playlists now, I believe, are like 98% owned by labels. And um, if not labels, distributors, i.e. like ADA Warner Music, they have slots. So when you're fully, fully, fully independent, like myself, it's not like back in the day, 016, 017, they'll throw me into playlists for fun because it was about 60% owned by the labels. So there was loads of room for other artists to have a little slot for a little two weeks, three weeks shine. But nowadays, if you even look on my Spotify, it's a myth to get into one playlist because every single slot has been booked out by the labels or by the distributors, etc., etc. So that's a major difference from like, just the way that the streaming platforms have evolved for independent artists, that's, yeah, it's, that plays a big role in terms of like how much income they'll make as the playlist and so that's one and just the game in itself being so oversaturated your music kind of gets lost now within the mix because there's so many artists it's like the fans now have really got to do more and more digging to find that true talent or to find something they're really looking for so it's just it's just yeah but it's good at the same time it's good at the same time and in fact what's been like what have been your career highlights though how, wait, how uh, many years has it been? Is it what? I say properly, properly, like in the industry, industry, you know what I mean? I, I don't class myself industry, but like, uh, 011, I was like dealing with like Link Up, Grand Daily, SBTV, this, that, that, and people started looking at me as like a UK established artist. So I'd say 011, but also I've been, my, my pen game has been since like 06, 07, bro. So what's been the highlights then? Um, Probably like just little things, bro, fam. Like performing in wireless when you're 19. Big up Bowie brought me out for that. Just little things like that, bro. Um, the first time, obviously, I've explained, I've seen, um, alhamdulillah, like loads of money through music now. But my first, like, I remember a highlight where I signed into my tune call, 
and it was one of my first payments and I'm Brock and it's like oh, 15 or something and I signed in and I saw eight bills and I'll never forget that day bro because that eight bills meant the world to me fam because see when I saw that eight bills bro best believe I didn't go bed that I was writing and writing and writing and writing and I said yeah like man can do this now like just from the eight bills so and I bought a ped I bought with that money I bought a ped it got me about I bought a Yamaha so that was like I know it's something so small bro but <coughs> to me, those things are the things that matter, innit? <coughs> so I'll, I'll never forget that day still. Bro, uh, maybe I'm getting this part of the story wrong, but was there... Uh, so correct me wrong. There was a time when you was offered the deal, yeah. you turned it down, and yeah. you knew that you had a certain amount on your account. Yeah, yeah. Go tell people that story. Yeah, so me and Taz, um, I, think, I can't remember how much I was offered, it was like 50, 60k, something like that, bro. Even once there was a 25k turned that down as well. But the main one, bro, like I, it was, I walked into uh, Universal Studios in, um, I think it was in Kensington at the time. Yeah, yeah. That one. And um, I'm with Taz, my wife, and we've gone in there. And I've literally, bro, I've got like, <coughs> like, if I'm being dead honest, fam, yeah, for like a rap or two on my account. Something like that, bro. Something stupid. My wife's got peas, but that's not my peas. I've never classed that as, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know how it goes. So, gone in there, long story short, they're trying to give me like 40 bags for the tape. Um, I was going to take it, you know, if I'm being honest, but my wife's saying, nah, babe, like they're bumping you. Don't take it. I promise you, I'll do your playlisting and we'll make this piece. No, 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 you've got bare songs on there. You're starting to get your million views on Link Up now. Just wait. So I was like, do you know what? Cool. But it hurt me declining that deal, bro. I'm walking out to, I'm Bruck, broski. Bruck, like, you know what I'm saying, bro? So, yeah, man, declined that. And then, yeah, alhamdulillah, bro, things turned out well. That tape they was going to sign me for and give me the 40, 50 bags for, that, that was my Adam album, bro. And that's made me like 150K since then, or probably more. Do you know what I mean? Not including the shows and stuff that I've done off it. So, yeah, and obviously I would have been tied in in a headlock. So, yeah, I'm lucky that. Obviously, the main thing I always tell people in this thing as well is you do need like a strong support in the background if you're, you know what I'm saying? So... I'm lucky I had my wife in it to tell me, yo, don't do this, don't do that. Because well, when you're from the roads, bro, and you're hearing 40, 50 quid and you've got nothing in your pocket, I'm saying, bro, take that. Mm -hmm. Give me that bread now. I'll yeah. give you 10 more albums. <laughs> That's how I'm thinking. Yeah. But yeah, mostly my wife, not some sense in it. Yeah. yeah. That, that could have been different, man. And lastly, bro, big up your wife, man, because that's, that's the one thing you always promote, having your wife. Like, we don't really hear that messaging point from too many of the mandem, so... Nah, yeah, just have to yeah. echo, man. Like, how important has your wife been to you over the last, what is it, 10, 15 years? How many years? Yeah, it's been long. So I first met her in like 07 and we've been married for a while now. But yeah, yeah, no, obviously my wife's she's important to me. She's an important woman in my life, bro. You get me, mother of my children. And lastly, bro, what, what advice would you give people like, just in general, just like, I just say life, bro, because it's not just music. Music is a small part of life, but just in life in general, you got any advice you'll give people that? Like, um, the young ones, bro, just do your thing. I can, even though things get hard sometimes, just stick to what you're doing. Don't give up. Don't be no waste man saying, yeah, let me just take a shortcut and stick to what you're doing. Do things with heart, dedication. Things ain't going to be easy, but you bounce through it like a man. That's what you do in life.